Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on engineer symbols or SI prefixes. We can change the Casio ClassWiz so that it displays numbers using SI prefixes, which I understand is quite useful if you're in the engineering fields or perhaps many other STEM fields where we want the convenience of being able to convert between different metric units. To change the calculator so that your answer displays with an engineering symbol, first you need to ensure that you are in a mode one, so calculate, and then press shift and setup, and we want to select option four, engineer symbol. And then we can press option one for on. So now we have engineering symbol on. We can see that there is a capital letter E displayed at the top of the calculator screen here. So if I input the example of the number 5,000, say if it was 5,000 meters, then the calculator will give the answer of 5K, i.e. five kilometers. So it's converted it to the SI unit relevant to 1,000 or 10 to the power of three. Let's try another example. Let's try 0 0.000008. And if we input that, we can see that we've got eight and then a mu, which is the SI symbol for micro. So if it was that value of a meter, then we would have eight micrometers as our measurement. The ClassWiz does enable you to convert between different SI prefixes by using the engineering button or ENG. So let's input the value of 10.1, which could be 10.1 watts, for example. And by repeatedly pressing the button, we can switch between uh, the different SI prefixes. So here we've got 10,100 milliwatts, little M standing for milli there. And if we press it again, it will go down by another factor of 10 to the power three. So this is 10 to the power of minus three smaller, and this is in microwatts. Now we can do this in reverse, by pressing shift and then the engineering button, we can go back to where we started from, 10.1. We can now go to greater scale. So we've got 0.0101 kilowatts. And if we go again, we'll go up by a factor of 10 to the power of three. So here we've got our answer in megawatts. And then finally our answer in gigawatts. We can see that the calculator has rounded it. So we've just got one significant figure displayed there. Now it is also possible to use the calculator to input a SI prefix so that you can then change it to other metric units. So let's try this example, 1.21 gigawatts. So I'm gonna input 1.21 and I'm gonna press option and select three for engineer symbol. Now if we pause here a moment, we've got our selections of engineer symbols or SI prefixes that we can input. Now it does go down as small as femto which is uh, 10 to the power of minus 15. And it does go as large as capital E, which is EXA, uh, which is 10 to the power of 18. So a very big number there. But our question requires this to be gigawatts. So I'm going to press eight here for capital G. Now if I press equals, in the first instance, I'm just going to get my answer repeated because we are in engineer symbol mode. Remember we changed that option four in setup. But then I can use the engineering button to go down and scroll down between 10 to the power of three units until I get two watts here. We went through megawatts and kilowatts there. And this is our answer in watts. So very easy to convert between different 10 to the power of three units. So there we go, a brief look at using the engineer symbols or the SI prefixes in the Casio ClassWiz calculator. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.